So what's up 3D learners welcome back to this crazy video So in today's video we're gonna create cyberpunk Not this cyberpunk This very cool cyberpunk kind of environment with huge building Not really cyberpunk Kind of cyberpunk well, We'll try to make it kind of sky fi and give it a cool look You might be thinking this project is really hard This that Actually this project is really easy and made for beginners so if you guys need the project file get it on gumroad and patreon and link will be in description so let's get in blender and see what we can create today and have fun let's go so i am in blender 2.6 right now as you can see and I press a and delete everything i'm gonna add a cube scale it up move it up scale it up with z maybe over there and i will make it kind of sky fi look you know um i'm gonna press a and subdivide subdivide it with maybe five maybe and i like that so all you have to do select some of these faces some of these faces like that i'm gonna make make this really sky fi kind of thing and i'm gonna scale it down make it kind of sky fi look so i'm gonna do it myself and i, I don't want to make the video boring so i'm gonna be real quick that is just simple just select some of these faces shift click shift click shift click you know just extrude it bevel it however you want so i'm gonna be real quick so as you can see i just gave it really cool sky fi kind of look i'm gonna save the file so i won't lose it and now i'm gonna add one more cube and i'm gonna move it away one more cube move it up Get it with the we're gonna use geometry nodes so we're gonna use really quick and really easy geometry node whatever so let's get started I'll create new geometry node and I'm, I'm gonna be real quick and you know i don't want to make the video boring and the geometry node is really easy i'm gonna i'm not lying really easy we're gonna use few geometry nodes so add instance on point distribute points on faces plug it here add a random value that's all and i'm gonna grab that cube over here grab this cube over here and now i'm gonna take this geometry plug it in instance now i'm gonna grab this value plug it in scale decrease the density maybe over there however you like i'm gonna adjust these settings real quick decrease the max and increase the density will make your project really cool and you can see we just created really cool building by just using three or four geometry nodes now i'm gonna click on this building back and press tab so i'll be in edit mode press a select all and subdivide and i'm gonna subdivide it with maybe maybe 10 select these bottom vertices get it up and you can adjust all of these settings by yourself g grab this and scale grab over here scale move it up make it kind of sky fi and you can see my building is ready and now we just created building and now everything is really cool and easy and i'm gonna duplicate these buildings a lot of time duplicate 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 and you can see i duplicated all of these building and i'm gonna use all of these duplicated building at the same time and now i'm gonna adjust these building by himself one by one and you can adjust these building too and now as you can see i added some of these buildings not all but i'm gonna make a way in between this building i'm gonna scale it up you can scale it up scale down scale it up scale down and like that i'm gonna move it over there and i'm gonna move this building over there so we're gonna fill the camera kind of like that now i'm gonna grab this building duplicate it shift d and move it over here i'm gonna scale it up now time to add a camera Shift A, add a camera, and I'm gonna I'm gonna move my camera here and give it pretty wide angle. And 
move it forward i'm gonna adjust these buildings maybe duplicate some of these buildings scale it up duplicate it move it like that scale it down and you know you can adjust these settings by yourself that's pretty easy you know rotate it adjust these settings don't make any building look same you know that will make your environment terrible now select this building and now i'm gonna duplicate this building shift d duplicate it scale it a little more maybe like that and i'm gonna add a modifier called wireframe modifier make it pretty thick now i'm gonna add a plane for ground scale it up move it backward i'm gonna add a texture on it and i got my all of these texture from this web website called textures.com and this is a really cool website you can get really cool free textures like um i got here one uh, called 3d scan raw query and i got this texture for my ground and it's looking really cool you can search anything here maybe rock and you can see we got a lot of textures here you can choose any of the texture and now i'm gonna press ctrl shift and t and locate where you put those texture click on this first texture and click on this last one and principal texture setup and now i'm gonna change from ev to cycles and from supported to experimental and go to this material tab and change from bump only to displacement and bump and add a subdivision surface and adaptive subdivision go to this material material tab and control a apply scale i'm gonna open my uv window here press u or open uv window i'm gonna go to tab press a to select all scale it up and i'm gonna add a noise texture control shift and right click and mix it with that increase the factor detail to maybe 30 and increase the scale now i'm gonna add one cube press s and shift z so we don't scale it with z axis and i'm gonna scale it and now i'm gonna create a water material you can follow me or just decrease the roughness and increase the transmission you you, you got the water but i i want to add more detail i'm gonna add a musgrave te texture bump node height into height normal into normal and i'm gonna change from the scale to 300 and decrease the strength maybe i am gonna add a mix shader add a volume volume principal volume and grab the volume into volume and i'm gonna add a light path is camera ready to factor add a transparent bsdf and plug it in shader okay so as you can see the water is actually black it's not giving a real good look so what we can do is take this transparent bsdf and plug it over there and take this principal bsdf and plug it, plug it over there now you can see we're getting really cool water i'm gonna change the color to maybe red kind of over there that's all we got the water i'm gonna adjust the camera now i'm gonna add one more cube move it up scale it down scale it scale it with z move it and uh, rotate it with r x and 90 and now i'm gonna scale it down a little more move it over there get it down a little more get it with x maybe and now i'm gonna press hold the shift and click on this building 
and control L and and copy modifier. Now, as you can see, we got our geometry over there too. I'm going to click on this building, get it down. Kind of like that. And I'm going to duplicate it, shift D, move it with G and G. And I'm going to click on this building back and shift D and move it maybe over there. Maybe over there. And I'm going to add a curve, shift A, curve, path, move it up and scale it up a little more. G, Y and move it up scale it a little more. R and Z, rotate it and move it just like that. And I'm going to adjust this. Now I'm going to click on this curve data geometry and increase the depth and now i'm gonna go to tab click on this and move it barely down i'm gonna press a right click and subdivide and move it down like that i'm gonna duplicate it move it up go to tab just this two i'm gonna add a material Click on these two and click on that one back, control link and material. I'm going to make it black and decrease the roughness, increase the metallic and they're cool now. Now time to add materials on our buildings and I'm going to click on this building, click new and I'm going to go to viewable shading and i'm gonna add a material so i also downloaded this very cool building you just ha you just have to download one of these building you don't have to download all of these um i i think i chose this one and and grab that building texture and put it in blender grab this color plug it in base color color into roughness and i'm gonna increase the metallic I'm going to click on this texture, control T and grab this object, plug it in vector, get it with maybe five and adjust that however you like. I like it kind of like that. And now I'm going to give it a little more detail, go to tab and deselect everything. Click on this select, select random. I'm going to go to face select, select random again. And I'm going to plus assign new and make it darker and metallic roughness down. Now time to add shader to this building. So I'm going to add shader to this, make it fully black. Increase the metallic, decrease the roughness, and make it maybe a little brighter, kind of like that. Click on that building back again and download any image you want. I like this image, and now I'm gonna grab this image and put it in my blender. Now I'm gonna take this color, plug it in base color, color in emission, and color in alpha. If they add a color ramp, I'm going to plug this color into alpha and I'm going to, I'm going to increase the emission to maybe 100 and maybe I'm going to flip the color ramp, click on this button, flip the color ramp and grab this black portion and make it kind of however you like. And now I'm going to make my world black. And you can see we'll all, we're already getting very cool. I'm going to add a plane, shift A, add a plane, move it up, get it up, R, X, R, Y, and move it backward, maybe like that. I'm going to add a material, emission material, and I'm going to make it blue. Blue will be a really good color. Shift D, move it over there. 
R and Y. I'm gonna go to camera mode and I'm gonna move it, move this plane away from my camera. Click on that plane, click on this two button and make it red. Go to viewport shading and increase this red one to maybe 20 and increase this blue to 20 and adjust the settings however you like or maybe i'm gonna add a volume add a principal volume density to maybe 0.01 we're gonna try and see how they're looking so now i'm gonna take my plane over there move it a little up kind of like that and we're gonna see i'm gonna show you my my output setting i'm using 1080p resolution and i'm gonna change from png to jpeg and i'm gonna go to viewport shading back and increase my contrast to maybe high contrast and i'm gonna decrease the exposure and now the render is ready and you can adjust this setting and play with some of these settings and adjust it by yourself so as you can see we just created this really cool cyberpunk render in blender and if you guys need the project file link will be in description and check out the project file or you can join the patreon and get every all of my project files for free link will be in description and also subscribe to the channel and like the video if you really love the render and i'll see you in the next video